Hi everybody, welcome to my page. My name is Debbie, uh, Southern Comfort with Debbie DIY. Um, if you're new to the page, uh, say, say hi in the comments, let me know you're here. Let me know what you've been up to, how you've been dealing with the quarantine, if you've been doing any new crafts. I want to hear it all. And if you've been here a while, you know what we do. We share the love, guys. Sprinkle the video. You said you do what? Oh, shoot. Not supposed to say that word. Sorry. S-H-A-R-E. Sprinkle. Sprinkle the love. Um, today we're going to be getting all Americana up in here. So we're going to be using this sign. Uh, it's at Dollar Tree. All I did was take the little hanger off it, and I painted it with some... Uh, some white paint and I added a little bit of um, plaster of Paris to my white paint and gave it a little texture. Doesn't matter, we're not going to see it really. I just wanted a little texture behind what we're doing. I've got a lot of Dollar Tree stuff here and some of my own stuff. We've got these little foam scatters they're called. Uh, little stars. We've got some scarves from Dollar Tree. We got some red and white material that's at Dollar Tree. They come in a rolled up, like a roll, and they're usually on the bottom shelf, at my Dollar Tree anyway, in a box. Um, I've got some lace I cut, some other materials I cut, and I've got a headband that I thought was really cute. So we're going to be using a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm going to start out by just gluing some of these. I went ahead and... Um, stenciled a little bit on these just to give it a, I wanted it kind of muted, I didn't want it loud, you know, so I just did a little, little bit on them, used a stencil and some paint. So, let me see, I don't know if my gun's ready yet or not. Your what? Nope. This is hot stuff, everybody. Say hello to hot stuff. We're not allowed to say the G-U-N word anymore, so, um, my hot glue thingy machine. Why don't we just all talk and mumble? I know. We're not allowed to say anything. Too many rules these days. Too many rules. So I was burning my candle today. We made these the other day. Uh, they turned out super cute. As you can see, we made the roses and little rosettes. And I'll apologize in advance. I have a dog eating a St. Bernard, eating his food. Um, I fed him an hour ago, hoping they wouldn't eat it while I was doing my live, and they decided to eat it while I'm doing my live. I've got cats meowing. We call it crafting my kitties around here. And usually my birds chime in too. They're being a little quiet right now, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> and? And. <laughs> All kinds of good stuff. Let me see if he's ready yet. Oh, he is. Yes. Just a little bit. How's everybody doing today? How are you guys dealing with being a little cooped up. Heard that they're reopening uh, some of the departments and stores, so I'm happy about that. Um, as you can see, I didn't make these any size. I mean, I didn't, I just cut them. And they are what they are. So I wasn't being particular in any way about how I was cutting these. What's everybody having for dinner tonight? We are having some chicken. I call it sage, rosemary sage chicken. Mm. And uh, I just put it in the oven with some garlic powder, some paprika, salt, pepper, um, rosemary sage. And I, I'm not doing the breast, I'm doing um, the dark meat. We call them chicken parts. Uh, and I cook them for about an hour. And 350 and they taste so good you guys you have to try them if you haven't tried rosemary sage chicken you really have to try them because they taste so good they are delicious from now on we can't say the number three and the word tomorrow why because i'm just if they're going to start saying stuff that we can't say then i'm going to add to it <laughs> silly well why not you are silly do. This is the way they come at the store, guys. They, they, they're pretty good for a dollar. 
And I cut a couple strips off of this and some stars out, as you can see. Um, you get a good sized amount of uh, a good sized quarter for a dollar. Brought to you by the number one. <laughs> I know a lot of people are doing these these uh, flags like this. So I'm going to do my own spin on it, and hopefully you guys like it. I just got a little something something going on in my head. Yeah. And I'm overlapping quite a bit here because I want to get quite a few different colors on it. I could have gone the other way with it, um, but I really wanted it to hang long ways. So... <laughs> That's what we have. You got your little sidekick there with you. I know. She loves to be in my lap. This is Bridget, everybody. And Bridget loves to be in my lap all the time. A.K.A. Danger Mouse. Yes. Call her Danger Mouse. And I also... Oh, that was hot. I also uh, went along my fabric here and kind of roughed it up a little bit. You just kind of hold it and go like this along the edges and you'll get this kind of tattered look. Kind of like an old flag is what I was going for. An old tattered flag. And I really like it. You roughed it up. I roughed it up. And you took it into an alley and worked it over? Yes, I did. I really like the lace in it. I think it's really pretty. This is going to be a pretty quick craft, guys. Ouch, ouch, ouch. This is my husband, Neil, running the camera. That's me. For the next three weeks, I'll be on my own uh, without Neil. He's got some work he has to do in the evening time, so um, I'll be on my own. But I will be in my craft room, so... Uh, won't be at my table here anymore, so that's a good thing. I'm really happy about that. So this is what we have so far. We have our little flag. And what I want to do is I want to cut a piece of this glue out. Let's see here. I don't even know how big I want it yet. So let me lay it. going to follow along this line here. Seems to be a good amount. Okay. Let me get a little straighter here. Poppy, stop. No. Okay, I'm just gonna tatter up my sides a little bit. Don't want it to look freshly cut. There we go. Now it's also a little wrinkly. And I'm just gonna lay these down. And, well, I got a piece here sticking out. I don't know there. Won't see it anyway, it's gonna be hidden, but. I don't know what's there. There we go. Hey, hey. Alright, I'm just going to do a little bit of glue here just to hold it in place a little bit. And just glue it down, just like so. And it's kind of loosely, it's on there loosely. I don't really want it on there too tight. I don't want to, and I'm going to use some of these, um, these stars here. Let's see. I'm missing a big white one. The cat's got a hold of this bag earlier. And, oh, there it is. This one. Maybe I'll just do the two big white ones. 
Just like that. Yes. I like that. Hold on, guys. Need another. I don't know why I call you guys guys. You're girls. Most of you, anyway. I'm just going to hold these in place. Let them dry. See, we're already almost done. All we got to do is put our hanger on and we're done. Quick, easy craft, guys. Um. I like these because, look, they're bouncy. Look how bouncy they are. So I'm not sure. I even thought about Save these guys because we can use these for another project, and we're going to. Um, let's see how these are on here. Just like so. We're just ripping it off. Let me cut my uh, ribbons here. One of these... Let me see if I can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to cut them because they're glued on. Let's see if I can. Let me get my smaller scissors. I don't want to cut into this these pieces here. toughest part of the whole craft right here. Getting these little pieces off. There we go. I think we got it now. Yep, we got it. There we go. So, I think I'm going to use this, this one. I don't think I want it quite that long. But it's got a spot right here in the middle that you can hang it. It's already got a little crease in it. So let's turn it over. Let's see. I'm putting a big old amount on there and hoping it doesn't burn through this plastic. Because these are just little plastic things. Try not to stick your finger in the glue like I just did. Oh, that hurts. Lordy. And cut these off. Just like so. Let's see what we can do with these. I bet you I find a way to use these. They're cute, right? make another flag uh, using this stuff or something else that I have in mind. We'll see. So that's what we have. I'm going to trim it up just a little bit. I don't want it to be even all the way, but I'm going to trim up this long piece just a little bit. Come here, you And there it is. There's our little flag. It's up too high. Oops, too high? Yep. There, uh, there we go. There we are. Yep. There we go. Mm -hmm. And there it is. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'll see you here tomorrow. Oh, no, I won't. I won't be on tomorrow. I, uh, I'm going to my daughter's, and we're going to build her a vanity for her bathroom. So we won't be here tomorrow night, but we'll definitely be here Tuesday. Um, so meet us back here. We're going to be making some tassels. Uh, that will go with our birdhouse we just made. Um, and really, really stinking cute tassels. So we'll see you later, guys. Bye.